what okay. was happening in that window where you're like, I'm going to just go in this other path, potentially head into this PhD program, right. learn about health, ultimately find out like, actually, that's not the thing I want to go yeah. into because that's sick care, not health care. Right. What was happening in that window? Well, again, I hadn't chosen um, an, a, a destination. I was running away from stuff all these years. And I realized that health and fitness was a good destination for me, that I could be an influencer or even a disruptor, right? To show what is possible at 40 or 50 or 60 or 70 or 80, right? Because I've got some serious goals of what I want to do when I'm 80, mm. right? Um, so there was another event that comes to mind uh, in, in my, yeah, I guess it would have been my 40s where after I was diagnosed with low bone density, I started weightlifting. I was also prescribed testosterone and that helped. And it also improved my libido, which is like, oh, this is what it's like. Mm. Um, I was in the gym. Actually, this was in Germany. I was at work. And one of my coworkers said, hey, Greg, have you ever thought about competing on stage as a bodybuilder? I'm like, who's this, who's this guy talking to? Right. And, 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 uh, and he said, no, no, no. I mean, you know, and, and he saw, you know, he, he saw the package, right. Of, of what I was. So he was being really kind and generous. And, and I thought about that a little bit more and, and I guess I said, why not? Right. Why not me? Um, and I ended up, uh, going and competing in a bodybuilding show without ever having been in one. Right. And that takes a little, because I'm like, what the hell am I supposed to do? Right. And, and I met my first coach there at that show though, backstage. He's like, all right, there's, there's some things we need to teach you. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. I'm, I'm a rookie here. Right. So I guess I've been open to coaching right along the way as well. Open to feedback is sometimes it sucks, right? Mm. Getting candid feedback, but honestly, that's the best way forward is if someone is willing to give you honest feedback, they're your friend right? Regardless of what their situation is, they've done you a big favor um, by giving you some honest feedback. And I haven't liked it at times, um, but I've been at least, I think, willing to listen to it, consider it, and also consider and look at, at what other people have done. I think, you know, I did read some of Tony Robbins stuff back in 1990 when he, when he released, uh, unleashed the, uh, the giant to within. I didn't act on it as well as I should have, obviously. But some of those ideas stuck with me, right? That, you know, if you want to get good at something, look at someone who's doing it and yeah. go do what they do. And I've, do, I've done that in some aspects of my life fairly well and others not, not so much, right? But I feel like I've got the, um, the ability to do what anyone else can do. 